Welcome to the truth about Mushroom Stew follow up. So, Mushroom Stew actually responded to my the truth about video, but then he deleted it the next day along with uh, his other video about something else pretty stupid. Now, I can't show you the response, obviously, because he deleted it, but I can tell you what happened in the response. Basically, it was him crying about his mistakes and saying that he would own up to them and become a better person and not make the same mistakes and then say that he tried, um, and then say that some of the things were in his defense, but a lot of crying and a lot of apologizing for being a terrible person. He self-deprecated a lot and even changed his uh, Twitter bio to say an idiot, but I think that's changed, I don't know. Now, Mushroom Stew, to you I say, I didn't mean to make you cry. I didn't mean to make you self-deprecate. I didn't mean for you to think that I'm like a hateful, heartless bastard or something. One thing that confuses me is you uploaded the video, which means that you wanted to hear people, uh, you wanted people to hear you cry, and then deleted the video, which also kind of makes sense because you didn't want people to hear you cry. I mean, you could have made a video where you could have just been like, Fuck Austin, he's a douche. These are the things he's done wrong to me. But instead, you just made a video apologizing for your mistakes, um, barely defended yourself, and uh, self-deprecated. That's really all you did. And I thought, wow, he actually didn't, like, do anything to try to defend himself. And I was surprised, because I thought that you would be like, that's not true, that's not what happened. But you didn't do that, you just apologized, which proves that what you did happened which doesn't make it any better for you, buddy. I mean, look, I think it's great you owned up to your mistakes. That's always the first step. But for you to say, yes, I was very childish, I doxed people, and I am not defending myself in any way. I mean, <sighs> what you said in your response, I can put past you because that video is deleted. You don't want it up anymore. That's fine, okay? I can't do anything about it. But, what I can do, is say stuff about what you're doing right now. So, in his response video, he said he'd be better, and he wouldn't do that stuff again. Well, just today, he tweeted out, Bomb Jared School, as a reply to a very obviously sarcastic tweet of this Jared person saying, uh, Bomb a school that has the Ugandan Knuckles, um, meme or whatever, on some poster or some fucking stupid shit. Now, obviously, that's a joke, a very dark joke. I don't think Mushroom Stew's joking. Another problem I have with Mushroom Stew is that many of the arguments that he's used against me in the past can also be used for him right now. And in the past. There were always arguments that could go both ways. Could this channel get really much any worse? Really, there are three different types of videos that Mushroom Stew tackles. There's, of course, the Minecraft Story Mode videos, the Portrayed by SpongeBob videos, and the Texting Stories. Those are really the only things he does. I mean, here and there you might get an off video where he actually talks directly to the audience or whatever, but for the most part, it's those three types of videos, and they're boring as fuck. Mushroom Stew, everyone does Betrayed by Spongebob videos, and you're not contributing anything to it. Most people have already used the same clips that you have. The Minecraft story mode videos aren't even yours. You don't even add commentary. You just re-upload the like clips or the episodes. Texting stories? Fine. Okay, those are somewhat original. I'll give you that. But I'm not sure that they're the greatest type of content or even remotely good. You're just making characters act like they're saying stuff through text. Normally things that the actual show would never portray, therefore making it non-canon even if you wanted it to be. So in the famous words of Mushroom Stew, could this channel get really much any worse? Now let's talk about how he can be a better channel really much. Texting stories? Fine. That's whatever. Re-uploading some show of Minecraft or whatever without any commentary, any cutting, any reacting or anything, that's really, really low. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're probably protected by copyright law, and therefore makes you in violation of YouTube's terms of service, but if for some reason they're under Creative Commons, uh, 
then what the fuck? Trade by SpongeBob, everyone already does it. You just use other people's clips really much. If you went back to your old style of talking to the camera about stuff, that's way more original than re-uploading someone else's content. I mean, it is. It really is. It's a lot better. Because it's your own content, your own opinions. You get to interact with more people that way. You don't get comments from people that will be there for one video and then leave. You'll get a fan base if that's the kind of stuff that they like. The only thing that's good about this channel is the gaming. Little known fact, Mushroom Stew actually used to make gaming videos. And they were okay. They were a lot better than what he's doing now, at least. And in the past 24 hours, he uploaded like five new videos. I mean, spamming a viewer's sub box isn't really a wise idea either. That causes more people to unsubscribe and then makes you have less viewers, which viewers is all you want. I know.